Hey, tubes, Jonathan's wrong here, truth on a budget. So anyway, um, real quick, just on people in general, I think at the point we're at, like, me personally, I've, is that a hair or like a scar? It's like a vein or discoloration, okay. Um, at this certain juncture, I, um, like, you can't trust anyone that's not a Christian, even as like a friend or like, like, literally every single person in my life, uh, you know, other than, like, you know, you guys, um, I can just assume that they're lying to me and that they're going to lie to me. Everything that I think is going to happen does happen. Uh, so it just, I feel like stop having faith in people. Stop giving people the benefit of the doubt. Stop giving people a chance. Um, if someone doesn't have Jesus in their life, they're apparently a scumbag. And, like, self-centered and, like, can't think about anyone else or... I don't know. It's weird. Like, you can't... You really... You really can't trust anybody at all. Like, I was saying something the other day about how people don't understand how I don't lie. Like, they can't wrap their... Like, it's... It's it, it's such a foreign concept that even when I say it, they think I'm just, you know, I'm... Like it, like people think it's like it's not possible. Yeah, I, uh, I, I compared it as you know, tell like telling someone that, that that I use my arms to fly around instead of walk and drive or whatever. You know, people look at you like you're nuts and like it, what, like you know, like you might like like you must mean something else. And it's just an indication of just how every single person is just a liar, and self-centered, and a, and like. Everything else, like just everything else that's bad, and why every interaction with anyone else is just empty and leads to unfulfillment and disappointment. Like, you can't even have a, like a casual, friendly relationship with, with, with someone without them screwing you. It just, it just sucks. Like, you really can't. Anybody with anything. You know? It just sucks. Like, we really have to live isolated, because otherwise we're just going to be, you know, constantly disappointed and constantly, like, just, you know, I don't know. It's the second I can, I'm just completely isolating myself from everybody. I don't really need to interact with anybody. People just turn on you on a dime. At anybody. It's, you know. Nothing anyone says means anything. You know. Everyone's just full of crap. Everyone speaks to hear themselves talk or to, you know, make themselves sound smart. Or to, you know, uh, uh, you know express whatever chip on their shoulder that they have. And it's just empty. I don't know, at this point, I feel like not, not giving anyone the time of day unless they're a Christian, like a real Christian. Feels like if people don't have God in their lives or like a reason to do anything, they're just, they're just scumbags, you know? I mean, imagine being afraid of every interaction, you know, and just at the same time, wanting to do whatever you want to do and not caring about whoever else it hurts and then just lying to everyone around you so you could like continue those actions i mean while it's nice not to not to live in fear which is you know one of the things about not lying that people don't understand is that to in order to live like that you have to be fearless and you have to do like you have to conduct yourself in a way that you would not do anything that would that would shame you uh, you don't do anything that you wouldn't admit to anybody. And people don't know how to live like that. Period. Look at the running gag about, you know, oh, don't, you know, you know, don't, don't, you know, don't, don't check my search history. Look at all the search history jokes. Okay, that's, that's a funny joke because Google knows all your search histories. Everything you've ever searched. 
So, you know, there you go. Someone knows somewhere. Other than fact that God knows. But people don't believe in God, so they don't care. You know, people, like, I, I, I have the same argument all the time. It's like, I'm not afraid of you, I'm afraid of God. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. You know, it just that's just how I am. And, you know, I'm not more afraid of you than I am of God. Whatever you can do to me is nothing compared to what God can do to me. And I love and, and respect God and you're a piece of meat. So, there's that. I don't know, I'm just sick of laying around injured, not being able to do anything, and with no one giving a shit. Uh, except for strangers. But then that's only, you know, mild empathy that, like, you know, passes. I don't know, no one cares, no one cares, no one has any feelings, no one has any deep, deep feelings, no one's capable of deep thought, no one's capable of deep anything. It just, I don't know. I see it in, in, our, in the uh, community, too, when I see people's videos. It's just everyone trying to interact with, like, society is just butthurt the whole time. We just feel burned because, like, we're not getting, like, 1% reciprocated. Like, I don't mind, you know... You know, I like helping people out. I like, you know, doing stuff for people and yada, yada, yada. But if I'm not appreciated, it's like, what's the point? You know, like, I'm not doing it for appreciation, but the fact that someone can't appreciate makes it, you're, you're just, they're just stealing from you. You know, they're stealing your kindness. That's all that is. If someone is not appreciative of you, they're stealing from you something worse than stuff. They're stealing your emotions, they're stealing your time, they're stealing your thoughts, they're stealing your energy for nothing. It's theft. Because everyone's a liar and a thief. So that's how they operate. Because they're weak and afraid and don't care about anything and don't have anything to live for other than sensation and want. I want this, so I'm going to do whatever I need to get this. And I'll deny up and down anything I did. And that's that's the mindset of every single human being. Except the like the less than one percent of us who like are real and can think and can feel. Just want out so bad. I got nowhere to go, my car is falling apart. No gas in it right now. The sticker's up on February. Uh, gotta pay my insurance again. Gotta pay a phone bill again. It just, it just, it just sucks. You know, and I'm like, and it's like, for what, you know? What's the point? I'm just so miserable all the time. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, I'd try my best to be happy. I'm a pretty upbeat guy. You know, I got a good attitude. People like being around me most of the time, unless I start talking. Um, I mean, you know, really talking. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what to do with myself. I just want out. I just want away from everyone in my immediate life. Who are at best occasionally fun. Isn't it nice, you know? I don't know. Even the few people that I do actually feel like care about me can 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 turn on a dime, so it's like how much can you know, how much do they care? They're able to just like shut it off and turn it on or like, you know, switch it. You no, know, it can't be that much. I don't know. Happy Sabbath. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day and God bless you.